we're with Dan from Blue Photon. Now, if you don't know what Blue Photon does, essentially you're holding your components with adhesive, which mm -hmm. sounds very basic, but really powerful gripping force. It is, Colin. Uh, each one of these grippers will hold about 600 pounds. In this case, what we did is we put an aluminum billet on this quick change fixture made by Jurgens. We machined these three parts out of the single billet. So we didn't have to load uh, three different parts. We have complete access around the part, uh, and it's easy to come off. There you go, nice and simple. So, but just to reiterate, that's one big solid billet. Absolutely, that's okay. how it started. And roughly the dimensions of that billet when it, when it went on? Four by four by 16. So a big component. You can get, bit, you can get bigger if required though? Absolutely. Uh, the, because we have uh, large grippers on here, the, the workpiece is actually be a little bit larger. Okay, and then with this you've got some real powerful gripping force, but also if I want to go bigger you can do bespoke solutions as well? Absolutely, the customer can make any size plate that they want to uh, or they need for their part. Okay, and not necessarily with this component, the benefit of this is you can get in underneath as well, can't you? In some cases, absolutely, yep. Okay, so that's one of the solutions you provide, and that's your milled parts, but what about your turn parts? So I'm thinking maybe a ceramic part for example, because mm -hmm. quite relatively tri tricky to machine? Yeah, ceramics are very brittle. They're hard, but they're br very brittle and hard to hold on. Uh, so cu customers use, will use wax or vacuum to hold them. So uh, what we've done is we use our work holding uh, system and, and our blue grip adhesive to hold these ceramic parts without damaging them, but yet hold them firm enough to uh, grind. Like I say, holding it with wax, you're not gonna get that, that clamping for so. Right, plus wax is very difficult to work with. It takes a long time to set up, it takes a long time to remove. Okay. Now another part you've got on show is is it the, the uh, tough tough steel. Is it three forty? Three oh four stainless steel. So three oh four. Okay. But why wouldn't I just hold that in a clamp, for example? Well, because <clears throat> we started out as a uh, a billet or a forging uh, uh, stainless stainless steel, and we turned it down so it's very thin and compliant. And when you start removing that much material, the part gets very hard to hold on to without distorting it. So with our grippers, we simply hold on to the back of the part. We turn the three sides, the, the OD, ID, and the face, and uh, you're ready to go. Yeah, the machine, nice and simple. Okay, then what about sort of irregular parts, maybe a casting, for example? Castings work great, investment castings for aerospace parts. Uh, it's the same story. Uh, you know, investment castings aren't always the same. There are little, little minute differences in them from casting to casting. Our adhesive makes up those differences, uh, allows you to make a very good part the first time. Okay, and I'm assuming, I'm assuming you're not getting any chatter and you run out on these, on these components. That's correct. Yeah. Okay. Now, what about thin walls and things like that? Because they're in inherently really difficult to hold without damaging. Right. <clears throat> so we uh, we can hold thin parts without putting any external force on the part and yeah. distorting it, uh, and that works really well. Okay. And then just re if people don't know what blue coat on is, very simply adhesive. You then curing it. Curing it with UV light. Yes. Okay. And that's clamping forces up to 600 pounds per. Per gripper, yes. Okay, so. yeah. But you do small, medium, and large of those as well? Yes, and those are 150, 400, and 600 pounds respectively. Okay. So you're getting a lot of flexibility with this system? Absolutely. And then finally, just clear, cleaning it all off though, because you've got that adhesive on there, mm -hmm. nice and simple to do? Yeah, so you just twist the gripper a quarter turn. If your part's really delicate or thin, you want to put that in some hot water, peel the part from the fixture, and then we use a little steam just to get the adhesive hot and it peels right off. Nice and simple. So there you have it from Dan at Blue Photon. Complex parts made really easy. Right. Correct.